Nissan will update the GTR before really updating the GTR. A Kia sports car is on the way, and how much is the Jaguar F-Pace? I'll tell you. Also, that Project 2 and 4 thing from Honda may be produced, and Ford shows off some new trucks in Texas. Plus, it's Friday, folks, so we have some rapid fire news. <laughs> you just start an engine of a car, or did you do that with your mouth? <laughs> oh, yeah, You're, you should be like uh, the dude from Police Academy. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D, and you are watching Fast Lane Daily. And how about them Giants? First win of the season. Finally. Oh, it's about damn time. <laughs> Remember that Project 2 and 4 thing from Honda we mentioned a couple weeks back? You guys remember that, right? Yeah. Yep. Well, Honda designer Martin Peterson said the Project 2 and 4 concept may be headed to production in some form or another. He said, there will be a next step. It's been too positive for us to go and complete this project in a basement somewhere. As if Honda does anything in a basement somewhere. They're kind of a multi-billion dollar company. Anyway, it definitely won't look exactly like the concept, but Peterson said that many iconic Honda products have more or less started out like this. As we said before, the Project 2 and 4 <laughs> was meant to mix the freedom of a motorcycle with the drivability of a car. Although a motorcycle is two wheels, and this essentially is a car with four wheels. I mean, it's one person in it. Yeah. Uh, it does have a modified version of a 999cc Honda motorcycle engine that makes 211 horsepower and 87 pound-feet of torque. So maybe that's where the freedom of a motorcycle comes in? Yeah. Is that? Similarly, in other news, Kim Kardashian has the freedom of being famous with the talent ability of a shovel. Yeah. I mean, Bitter. I ain't saying she's a gold digger, All right. but she probably is because she puts out sex tapes. Jaguar has priced the 2017 F-Pace. It will start at not too expensive, 40990 bucks. Yeah, not too bad. And that's in the U.S. when it goes on sale early in 2016. It will be offered with a base 2-liter 4-cylinder turbo diesel engine making 180 horsepower. Now moving up from there is the 35T with a supercharged 3-liter V6 making 340 horsepower. That's quite the jump. Yep. And that will start at $42,390 and get to 60 in 5.4 seconds. Wait a second. That's just like $2,300 more. You can get a supercharged version with 160 more horsepower. Wow. Hashtag no brainer. All right. Hashtag get that one. Finally, the F Pace S will raise the output to 380 horsepower and will take 60 to church in just 5.1 seconds. For that one, you'll need to spend $56,700. Yeah, now that is, is the price jump. Oh, yeah. I guess you could say you'll have to F pay for the F pays. You could say that. I just did. Try it. Nope. <laughs> Kia said that they will debut a new sports car by the end of the decade. Not a surprise. The model will be affordable and probably globally available. That Kia GT4 Stinger concept will be the inspiration for the new model, which of course we've seen at multiple auto shows. Its powertrain and chassis could come from a Hyundai model, so don't be surprised if a Hyundai badged compact sports car is on the way too. Uh, look out Mazda MX-5 Miata, Toyota GT86, Scion FRS, and Subaru BRZ. The Kia might sting you, right? Because it's a stinger. Right. Z Hey, Ford unveiled their new 2017 Ford F-250, F-350, and F-450 Super Duty trucks yesterday at the Texas State Fair. And they come with panoramic sunroofs. That's nice, AK. Yeah. They have aluminum bodies, saving up to 350 pounds, mounted on fully boxed frames under the cab that's 95% steel. They claim stiffness is up 24 times from the outgoing truck, and the frame has open C-channel design behind the cab for ease of fitting custom commercial beds and cargo boxes. Power could come from an updated 6.7 liter Power Stroke V8 diesel. Also available is a 6.2 liter gas V8 
and the 6.8 gas V10, mainly commercial vehicles. Uh, the Super Duties come with tons of optional technology as well. You got 360 cameras, uh, blind spot monitoring, and other safety goodies. LEDs all over the place, of course. Uh, 2017 Super Duty trucks will be available in XL, XLT, Lariat, and King Ranch, and Platinum trims. Best option, of course, is to throw some hammers back there. <clears throat> throw some hammers back there. Yep. Drop it on me. Oh, I love it. Built for tough. One more time. <clears throat> That's good. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you thought the current generation Nissan GTR was at the end of its lifespan, well, like Biggie said, you're dead wrong. Looks like Nissan plans to update the current GTR before the new one launches, either at the end of 2017 or beginning of 2018. The current GTR has been essentially the same since. 2007, with suspension and performance tweaks introduced along the way. The range-topping GTR Nismo makes 600 horsepower and 481 pound-feet of that. Torque. That's right, Erica, from a 3.8-liter twin-turbo V6, but perhaps that powertrain will uh, get a boost. Other updates will likely include visual touch-ups, better aerodynamics, and suspension modifications. Uh, definitely don't expect the next generation's planned hybrid setup, though, to make, it, to make an appearance in this updated version. Yeah. All right. Needed a sip. All right. It's the opposite of slowing down. Because we're about to get into some rapid fire news. <laughs> that was good. It was like a, uh, a sense like you were doing a dog bark. We were also starting a car. It was like a dog starting a car. All right. Makes sense. All right. You ready, Erica? Yeah. Nicki Minaj and her Matt Black Maybach baby got fake back. She's whack, roof rack, wolf pack. I'm getting off track. Just like Ford Chevy jumped aboard at the Texas State Fair, revealed the 2016 Chevy Silverado with flair. Of course, you could also throw some hammers back there. This is pretty neat. A plane landing in the street in Irvine, California. The plane had a prop, not a turbine. Driver was like, you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Nope. Guy in Russia blocks an ambulance with his M6. Dude's got too much time on his hands. Like the band sticks. What a jerk. Someone should do that to him on his way to work. Here's an update. More heads rolling from Dieselgate. Here's a debrief. Audi's R&D chief, Ulrich Hackenberg, and Porsche's engine chief, Wolfgang Hatz, stepping up to the resigning badge. Hey, look at that. Hoon and James Bond's Aston Martin DB10, writing out 007 with tire marks. None of that last part rhymed. I'll make it up to you next time. I promise when cars and rhyming fuse like this edition of Rapid Fire News. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. Wow. This was good, right? Nice job, Derek. Dang. Oh, thanks. Dang. Got it on that one. Okay. Update on what? Porsche CEO Matthias Mueller will officially take over Volkswagen. Porsche CEO Matthias Mueller will officially take over Volkswagen. It's a you fish. You heard it here. It's a fish. And not the one that swims. <laughs> 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 Our FLD question of the day is, would you buy the Kia sports car over any other entry-level sports cars? You know, like the Scion FRS, Super BRZ, um, Mazda MX-5 Miata, those, those kind of things. Or would you be a brand sucker and not get the Kia just because it's a Kia? Hashtag FLDQ of the D. You can send your own in too. Tips at FastLaneDeli.com. Thank you, AK. Appreciate it. And that is going to do it for Fastlane Deli today and this week. I'm Derek D. I thank you for watching, everybody. And hey, if you plan on driving into New York City today, don't. The Pope show up in here. Oh boy. Yeah, everything's. What time is he coming up here? Wasn't he gonna? He was gonna stop by the FLD studio, say what's up. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, and yeah. then uh, head to his other. Well, we just can't air it because. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we were asked not to yeah. by the yeah. Vatican. Oh, I think he's here. Oh, is he here? I think so. Oh no, false alarm. No. Who is that? UPS. Oh, UPS guy. Yeah, you could just hand that to AK. AK Thank you. Want... Thanks. Want to sign for that? Yep. All right. Nicki Minaj and her Mac Black. Nicki Minaj and her Matt Black Maybach baby got fake back. She's whack. Woof, woof, woof. Ow, we're living in the fast lane.